Hello everybody! In this video let's talk about Visual C++, where to download and how to install it, and discuss the errors you will face if your computer is missing a certain version of this product. Microsoft Visual C++ is one of the software packages that your computer needs to run most games as well as certain programs. It contains libraries that allow running applications which were developed within the Microsoft Visual C++ environment. The question of why a certain program can't start or be installed and what you can do about it was discussed in one of our previous videos. You will find the link in the description. As a rule, modern software can download required files during installation. However, there may be failures in the work of Microsoft Visual C++ package caused by installation of pirated software or malware activity. In this case, you should download Microsoft Visual C++ from the official website. You can also download Microsoft Visual C++ from other resources as well, but I don't recommend it. We also showed how to remove viruses from a computer in our previous videos. Find the link to one of them in the description. In order to install Microsoft Visual C++, you should decide which version you need and download the distribution package. At the moment, the most widespread versions are 2012 and 2015. But remember that newer applications may ask for an up-to-date version soon. So, oh, let's begin. Open the browser and enter Visual C++ 2015 in the search field, or any other version you need to download. Find the link to Visual C++ redistributable in Microsoft website. Go there. This is where you can see the information on this software package, system requirements, and installation manual. By the way, pay attention to the system requirements. Make sure that the package you are downloading is compatible with your operating system. It should be noted that earlier versions of Windows 7 and Windows XP don't support Microsoft Visual C++ 2012 and higher. Click Download, then select the download unit, the package for 32-bit or 64-bit system. Next. After the package is downloaded, double-click on the .dot file to start the installation. Install Visual C++ by following the wizard directions. Restart the computer when the installation is over, so the changes will take effect. Go to Programs and Features and make sure that the package is installed. You can download and install any other version of Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable in the same way. You can find the links to download all versions of Visual C++ in the description. Sometimes when you open programs and features in your computer, you can find many versions of Microsoft Visual C++ which are already installed. Don't hurry to delete them. Users often ask if they need all versions of Microsoft Visual C++ libraries in their computers, or why the libraries don't update to the latest version and remove the older ones. The answer is that you shouldn't delete them, especially if you don't want to face a problem of one of the games or programs refusing to run after an older version of Visual C++ was deleted. If you see such a situation in the list of programs installed, your best decision should be to leave this list as it is. Similarly, don't hurry to delete 32-bit versions of the packages with the x86 marking in their name, even if you are using a 64-bit version of Windows with the marking x64. Such packages can also be used for prog by programs and games installed in your PC. And one last thing, if you start a program or game and see the error, the program can't start because VC runtime 140 DLL is missing from your computer, try to install the, pro the program to fix this problem. It means that your computer lacks the version of Microsoft Visual C++ required to run the program or game you are trying to start. The solution is to install the required version of Microsoft Visual C++. For every version, the set of errors is special. VC runtime 140 DLL is missing, you should install Microsoft Visual C 2015. MSVCR 120 DLL or MSVCP 120 DLL is missing, you should install Microsoft Visual C 2013. 
MSVCR110 DLL or MSVCP110 DLL is missing, you should install Microsoft Visual C++ 2012. MSVCR100 DLL or MSVCP100 DLL is missing, you should install Microsoft Visual C++ 2010. MSVCR90 DLL or MSVCP90 DLL is missing, you should install Microsoft Visual C++ 2008. MSVCR80 DLL or MSVCP80 DLL is missing, you should install Microsoft Visual C++ 2005. You should install any of them in the way shown in this video. That is all for now. If you found this video useful, click the like button below and subscribe to our channel to see more. Thank you for watching and good luck!